In a universe that's constantly expanding into infinity, unexplained and strange things present themselves all the time. But of those things that we can observe, there are 10 that are particularly fascinating and mysterious that nobody can explain to this day. Here are 10 mysterious space anomalies that we can't explain. Number 10 are black holes. Though scientists have been studying black holes for a long time, there are still more questions than answers when it comes to what we know about these intense and sometimes scary space anomalies. A black hole is an invisible space with so much pull that even light can't escape being drawn in. The only reason that we know that they're there is because of the reaction that they have to other things in space. Because we can't see them, it's difficult to determine what exactly they are, or for that matter, what happens to everything that gets sucked into them. One of the most popular current standing theories is that everything inside a black hole gets compressed with mind-boggling force. In fact, it's believed that a black hole the size of an atom can actually have the mass of a mountain, just one of many unsolved questions of the universe. Number 9 are Saturn's rings. When you picture the gas giant that is Saturn, there's really no way to not visualize the mammoth colorful rings surrounding it. And while science has determined that the rings that you're picturing are made up almost entirely of ice, with trace elements of rocky material, what hasn't been determined yet is how they formed or why they're made of ice, and for that matter, how they managed to remain so incredibly flat. There are also some gaps between the rings that have no reason to be there. While some features of the rings suggest that they were formed when the planet formed an estimated 4.4 billion years ago, other properties suggest that they're actually more of a modern development. It's very possible that Saturn might just be the most mysterious planet in our solar system. Number 8 is Tabby Star. Situated nearly 1,500 light years from us is a star called Tabby Star. It's a bit larger and definitely hotter than our sun, which is admittedly not an anomaly. However, what is is that for some reason, its light has been spotty dimming as much as 22% since its discovery. The phenomenon has brought forth a number of theories. Some believe that there are a number of large comets or dust orbiting the star, while some actually think that there could be an alien race using advanced technology to siphon energy from it. Whatever the reason, the truth continues to elude humanity, which means anything could be out there. Number 7 is Jupiter's Red Spot. The most iconic symbol that tells you that you're looking at Jupiter, the fifth planet from our sun, is the giant red spot whirling about on it. Any person with the love of space can tell you that you're actually seeing a colossal hurricane-like storm that's the size of three Earths. But if you ask an astronomer why the spot is red at all, they can only speculate as nobody actually knows. The red spot storm has been raging for at least 400 years. It's higher up than any of the clouds surrounding it and is actually cooler in temperature, not warmer. Yet still, the only variation in color is a change in hue that occurs on occasion from the recognizable bright red to a rosy pink. On top of all of this, we still don't know even why the storm is happening at all. Number 6 are Cataclysmic Variables. Cataclysmic variables, or CVs, are binary star systems, meaning that there are two suns instead of one. Having two is actually not that rare, as over 50% of the systems discovered have more than one star, 
But for CVs, while one sun has become a white dwarf, which our own sun will do in about four and a half billion years, exhausting its nuclear fuel and becoming extremely dense, its companion sits in such close proximity to it that the white dwarf literally drains all of its gas. Now what doesn't make sense here is that if the primary star has become a white dwarf, it must have been a red giant previously meaning the partner star, being as close as it is, must have been somehow inside of it. This is absolutely unexplainable and to this day boggles many scientists' minds. Number five is dark matter. According to the standard model of cosmology, the universe is made up of only 4.9% matter, 68.3% is made up of dark energy, which we'll get to in a moment. But what about the remaining almost 27%? That is where the dark matter theory comes in. As the name suggests, dark matter is dark, as in it cannot be seen. Shockingly, scientists actually know more about what it is not than what it is. It doesn't interact with or emit electromagnetic radiation, and we know that it can't be matter as if it was, it would contain particles called baryons, which we'd be able to detect it through reflected light. Still, it exists, and it's out there affecting every galaxy's mass and rotation rate. We simply have no idea what it is. Number four is the Great Attractor. Our galaxy shouldn't actually be moving as fast as it is, unless of course it's being drawn to something. Scientists believe that that something is the Great Attractor, a gravitational anomaly located at the center of the Laniakea supercluster that could be thousands of times more massive than our own galaxy. Numerous tests trying to determine both if the Great Attractor exists and if so, what it is have been conducted, and though we still have no answers either for or against its existence, a large number of new galaxies we weren't able to see before have now been discovered. The odds are extremely good it won't be something that we or our near future ancestors will have to worry about. But just think about this for a second. We have no idea what we're headed for. But whatever it is, it is most likely not good. Number three is the cosmic void. One of the most bizarre things out there in space is actually a severe lack of things. The Great Void is a colossal area of space with very few galaxies. Located within the constellation Cannes Venetici, this black spot in the sky is roughly between 1 billion and 1.3 billion light years in diameter. And yet, it's only the second biggest void out there. A 1.8 billion light year wide supervoid exists in a place that is, for a reason that scientists cannot determine, colder than it should be. The voids have around 20% less matter than they should, based on the galaxies that surround them. There's one theory that suggests that shortly after the Big Bang, quantum fluctuations helped redirect matter as the universe expanded so the voids could be getting even bigger as time goes on. Whatever theory you choose for this mystery, it still remains completely unknown. Number two is Planet X. While it hasn't been discovered yet, many experts claim the only explanation for the odd orbital behaviors of objects spotted far beyond Neptune, the farthest planet from our sun in the solar system, is the existence of a planet that, for one reason or another, we've never seen before. Also known as Planet 9, Planet X won't have an official name until someone can prove without a shadow of a doubt that it's actually there. Researchers studying the Kuiper Belt, a ring-shaped group of dwarf planets, frozen gases and other space debris, reported that items had a peculiar orbit which could be explained by the existence of a planet roughly the size of Uranus, but so far from us that it would take between 10,000 and 20,000 years for it to orbit our sun. NASA's hopeful that we'll be able to prove its existence in our lifetime. And number one is dark energy. 
Though in a humorous way, it kind of sounds like a power that a supervillain would want to harness. Dark energy is actually the stuff that makes up nearly 68% of the universe. The top scientists at NASA cannot tell you exactly what dark energy even is. Theoretically speaking, it's a repulsive force that is accelerating the expansion of the universe by counteracting the gravity that would otherwise be slowing it down or even reversing it. There is a theory that there may be a type of energy fluid out there somewhere filling space. Or or perhaps Einstein's theory of gravity should include a cosmological constant, or maybe it's wrong altogether. Whatever the real answer is for now, it's been given the label of dark energy until we know something for sure. We also don't know how it would affect us directly if we ever came into contact with it. Let's hope it doesn't harm us. Thank you very much for watching, but we're not done yet. On your screen, there's two more videos that you can tap to check out right now. Or if you want to check out a list of all of my most recent videos, you can tap that little i card in the corner of your screen. Take care and I'll see you in the next video.